With Victor Wembanyama being drafted by the Spurs, I decided to put the last 28 first overall picks onto this board. Whether massive bust or potential GOAT, I'll use the best version of each player to see who can be the last first overall pick standing. Okay, so like that part of the video, very simple, straightforward to understand, right? Uh, building a supporting cast for each team though. Not so much. And that's because I wasn't about to recreate each individual roster our players were drafted to. I mean, the 1998 Clippers, come on, man. So instead, I came up with a criteria to build each first overall pick their squad. Each player will be joined by the second overall pick from their draft class, the prime version of any two players they've played with during their career, two teammates from their rookie season specifically, and two players from the current version of their drafted franchise. And we all good? Everybody understands? Yeah, okay, probably not. I'll give you one example. Kwame Brown, drafted first overall in 2001 is joined by the second overall pick from that year, Tyson Chandler. He's joined by Tyus Jones and Jordan Poole from the current Wizards core, old man Michael Jordan and Rip Hamilton from his rookie season, and 99 overall MJ, 98 Kobe as his two prime teammates. I mean, that's just beautiful, right? Final note for the past four first overall picks, Victor, Paulo, Cade, and Ant Edwards. I simply gave them three current teammates, three members of their respective all-time team, and of course, the second overall pick. I mean, they don't have the same history in the league to build their team the same way. Y'all get it. Now let's get to it. And we're going to be running this imperialism style. I've got all 28 of our first overall picks on this wheel. And we're starting with Anthony Davis, 2012. And of course, we'll be sending AD with whatever direction this compass tells us to. How are we starting? Okay. As well, we're going to keep matchups within each group until we have just four players remaining. Then we'll do a final four, AD versus Andrew Wiggins. As for our first matchup, Anthony Davis, 95 overall, is joined by Dwight Howard and LeBron James, his prime teammates. Remember when he won a chip with them? Zion, Brandon Ingram from the current Pelicans. Eric Gordon and Ryan Anderson were on his rookie Hornets team and Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Not great. Andrew Wiggins, meanwhile, joined by second overall pick Jabari Parker. Also not great. Thad Young, Kevin Martin from his rookie team. Towns Edwards from the current Timberwolves and Derek Rose, Kevin Garnett. Yep, Wiggins played with both of them in his career. Spoiler alert, you're going to be seeing quite a bit of KG in this video. I was shocked. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, Kevin Garnett for the first time in this video, not able to to help out one of his Timberwolves first overall picks. AD in the Pels. Wow, that's a big win to start things. And the first move of the video, Anthony Davis grabs his second spot. And in addition to claiming a new box on the board, each winning first overall pick also gets to steal the player they just beat. So Andrew Wiggins joins AD's club. And with that, I think we understand how this video is going to work. It's pretty straightforward. <laughs> We're right back to the Timberwolves, all right? It's honestly unfair. The Timberwolves have had so many first, well, not unfair, just kind of crazy is what I mean. And the only player in his group to the right of him, Carl Anthony Towns. It's Kwame Brown. We're already getting to it. All right, man. Our second Timberwolf of the video, Carl Anthony Towns, joined by Wiggins and Levine, who were there in his rookie year. D'Angelo Russell, the second overall pick. Gobert, Edwards, current T-Wolves, and once again, Derrick Rose, Kevin Garnett. Meanwhile, I introduced Kwame's lineup already. We know it. Tyus Jones, Jordan Poole, Tyson Chandler, the second overall overall pick. I'm using two versions of Michael Jordan. Yeah, why not? MJ, Kobe, can they carry Kwame? Much to my surprise, despite keeping it close early, that tandem of Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant would not be enough as the Timberwolves with Cat eventually pulled away. And I guess now is an appropriate time to point out that I am forcing each first overall pick to be a starter. So Kwame Brown played serious minutes in this game, and maybe that's why he failed. Maybe it's going to be tough for any of those lower overall first overall picks. Or maybe Kwame it was just MJ 20 points. One of these versions, the old man. prime MJ had 10 points. I mean, I mean, like what? Our next spin of the wheel would give us our oldest first overall pick, Allen Iverson from 1996. Unfortunately, the compass sent him into Anthony Davis territory. That's a tough first matchup, but tough matchup or not. Allen Iverson has a loaded squad. Can be the second overall pick. Coleman Stackhouse from his rookie team. Harden and Bede from the current Sixers and Mello Chris Webber in their prime. Ooh, and despite AD already having a win under his belt. This is a clutch matchup. And the Pelicans with Anthony Davis are down. Allen Iverson is up, baby. That's an and one. Wow. Oh, that's right. I think I made LeBron a point guard on AD's roster. So AI, <laughs> AI literally couldn't care less who he's going up against. That's crazy. AI already has five points in the clutch trying to close this game. Oh, that's a reckless double. That is such a reckless double. Melo shoots out of it and cans the jumper. Nah, that's wild. Iverson 34, six and three in his debut in this video. I'm not 
not gonna lie, I kind of thought Iverson had the best roster in this video, and now he's added Anthony Davis Oboe. Moving along, the wheel would give us an old versus new matchup from 1999 Elton Brand. He'd be taking on Anthony Edwards from just a couple years ago. Brand on the Bulls joined by Ron Artest, Tony Kukoc from his rookie season, Levine DeRozan from the current Bulls, Steve Francis, the second overall pick, Vince Carter, Dirk Nowitzki, who he played with at the end of his career. Well, because Anthony Edwards is young, I gave him Garnett Love Cassell from the all-time Timberwolves, Gobert Towns Conley from the current team, and James Wiseman. Remember when he was a second overall pick? Okay, well, heading into halftime, it's a near 20-point game. James Wiseman not really helping, and Ant was never able to turn things around for his boys, a 16-point loss. Dirk Nowitzki, high-key carried out in brand. The wheel would send us back to the late 2000s. Derek Rose, everybody's favorite player, heading left into Paulo Bancaro territory. Interesting. D. Rose is loaded, man. He played with LeBron and Carmelo in his career. DeRozan Vucevic from the current Bulls. Ben Gordon, Luol Deng from his rookie team. And Michael Beasley, second over. That's actually not the best team I've ever seen. Meanwhile, Paulo's got T-Max, Shaq, Penny from the all-time Magic. Franz, Wendell, Markel from the current Magic. And Chet Holmgren, who was second overall pick. Okay, and we're back to not a blowout six-point game. Paulo's still in contention. Tracy McGrady wearing number 12 just looks wrong. He always chucks in these clutch situations, T-Mac, but it usually works. I don't know if Paulo's going to touch the ball for his team here in the clutch, uh, and that's honestly okay as long as they can. Ooh, Franz, that's a great look. Franz Wagner. Oh, he made it. Paulo going back the other way. First Magic. He just crossed over Melo to get to the rim. Paulo wants to win. Oh, my word. Franz just about sold that. LeBron. Yo, he was contested, but he high-key sold the bread right there. Paulo deferring to Penny, who Perfect. also fought. <laughs> What? What am I seeing? Okay, Franz did miss a free throw for the magic for Paulo's magic. Why is LeBron shooting a step back too? What? Like, what? An insane choke by D-Rose's Bulls. I mean, they all played great too, just not in the clutch. And let me just clear this up. I know there's going to be a million comments. I do use different sliders in these videos to try and encourage CPU players to make more shots, but that shouldn't have just benefited Orlando. Like, it's an even playing field for everyone. They just made shots. We'd get a second straight Magic first overall pick. Dwight Howard going down right into Tim Duncan territory. Oh, Dwight's Magic. Yep, yep. LeBron and Kobe, he played with them both. Now they're in their prime. I'm Grant Hill, Steve Francis from his rookie team, Paulo Franz from the current Magic, and Emeka Okafor, who won Rookie of the Year. Meanwhile, Tim Duncan, one of the OGs of our video, Keldon Johnson, Victor from the current Spurs, Avery Johnson, David Robinson from his rookie team, Keith Van Horn, the second overall pick, and Kawhi, Tony Parker, prime version. This was an epic battle between two Hall of Fame caliber first overall pick big men. Tim Duncan fell behind early. Dwight got out to a big lead, but Timmy D came all the way back just to fall ahead hair short, a four point finish. That's crazy. Dwight's magic weren't even very good. Kobe 27 and 13. Great game. LeBron didn't do much. Dwight himself was kind of mad. Meanwhile, Tim did everything he could. 33, 17, 6, eight blocks. And no joke, Dwight Howard adding Tim Duncan might be the most important player steal of this video. He is so good in these sims. Honestly, all I want in this video is for Anthony Bennett to go on a run. That is all I want. Cat, once again, this is Cat's second appearance in the video. I believe he's taken out one dub a red okay. I'm going to say down into the right from Kat's original spot is into DeAndre Ayton territory, taking over Luka. Many people forget. I'm just kidding. Nobody forgets that. I'm sorry, Suns fans. DeAndre Ayton's team is loaded. Kevin Durant, Chris Paul in their prime. He's played with them both. Booker and Beal from the current Suns. Oubre Warren from his rookie year and Marvin Bagley, who was also taken ahead of Luka. Oh, a sneaky, intense matchup here. Cat is up six though late. And I see Towns out there for the Timberwolves. Ayton, yes, both our first overall picks in the clutch. D-Book going to work. Oh, deep book with the ups. All right, then. Both teams have a relative weak link out there. Andrew Wiggins for the Timberwolves. Uh, Kelly Oubre for the Suns, but Kanda. Oh, my word. <laughs> Derek Rose said, I see your poster, D book. Let me one up. And we're officially into free throws and fouls territory. Can the Suns do something crazy? Kelly Oubre just put up a contested three. Uh, no, I got a quick answer to that question. And you know what? Shout out to Cat. He led his team 29, 9, and 2 gets his second W of the game. Oh, my word. Sorry, so I, I didn't quite realize. Kevin Garnett had 19, 18, and 13. What? Next up, we had what would turn out to be an inconsequential matchup as Kenyon Martin's Nets dominated Zion's Pelicans. Following that game, however, Dwight Howard officially took this video over. First, he brought his legendary crew to Cleveland to face Anthony Bennett, a game which went down to the wire. Why are you going to Victor Oladipo and why did he just dribble out of bounds? Oh my gosh, dude, what am I watching? Yeah, that's not a great finish. Second, Dwight would face off with John Wall's Wizards, a roster and 
including prime Kawhi, prime james harden they took a prime l my guy wow wrapping up his three in a row dwight and the boys would handle the aforementioned kenyon martin giving d12 all but one spot in the top left region after dwight though we had another more surprising run of dominance andrew bogut would be sent by the wheel to face elton brand and alongside Giannis, dirk and steph bogut would take his first dub in our very next game steph curry showed up late can steph finally get something going in the clutch there it goes better late than never that's probably the dagger to complete his own mini three-peat bogut's bucks would then go into portland to face greg odin they needed ot for this one steph curry throwing a lob in the clutch to Giannis, and it worked the audacity my guy and just like that andrew bogut took over and completed the entire bottom right region wow i did not see that coming and with greg odin down we are officially down to 14 teams the exact halfway point of the video blake griffin will make his debut b griff i think he's in Allen iverson's uh region going down left we will call that into andrea bargnani territory another player making his debut blake squad is loaded kevin durant cp3 he played within their prime Kawhi paul george from the current nuggets chris Kamen, eric gordon from his rookie season and hashim the beat yeah he was a second overall pick blake will be taking on andrea bargnani who played with carmelo anthony and kyle lowry in their prime bosh mo pete were on his rookie raps aldridge was the second overall pick and of course barnes siakam from the current raps and honestly i what i wasn't sure what to expect here i did think blake's clippers were the better team but a 20 point difference in this game better team not so sure about that anyways blake griffin would occupy some new space in the bottom left region but finally we were gonna get started with the top right region victor Wembenyama about to enter this video with a matchup against paulo bancaro victor is joined by duncan parker leonard three members of the all-time spurs keldon vassell zach collins from the current spurs and brandon miller the second overall pick i can't lie to you all i'm kind of nervous for victor because paulo's crew has already added prime derrick rose to their side this is tough oh wow i I really misread this matchup. Victor in the Spurs, a 25, no, a 15 point victory. Yeah, I didn't see it coming this way. I mean, Tim had a near triple double. Victor was not very good. How did they do this? Well, it's not for me to figure out now. Victor takes three new spots, also stole Paulo for his team. Our next spin would keep us in the top right region. Ben Simmons heading down to the left into Markel Fultz territory. A couple of process first overall picks. Okay, Markel is joined by second overall pick Lonzo Ball. Covington Reddick, he played with as rookies. Maxi Harden from the current Sixers, Ben and Embiid in their prime. And a whole lot of overlap because Ben Simmons was also on those teams. Anyways, Brandon Ingram, the second overall pick. He's played with Durant and Kyrie in their primes. Young Joel Embiid, James Harden. You see the teams, they're very similar. Who gets out on top? Oh, this is hilarious. I have no idea. One, one of these teams is up by 20. They're both 76ers logo. What's a guy supposed to do? You know what? We're just going to let the clock run out. All right. Moment of truth. One team just won by 31 points. Oh, and it's Markel. Fultz team. Joel scored 33 and 14 for Markel Fultz and yeah, kind of choked for Ben Simmons. That's hilarious. And because we're not about to change the rules now, Markel Fultz does steal Ben Simmons, giving him two Ben Simmons. I've made one of them a point guard. Yeah, we'll see if that actually helps him or not. Slowly but surely, our wheel thinning out. We land on Yao Ming for the first time, sending him directly into Blake Griffin territory. I can't lie to you all. Yao's team looking kind of weak. T-Mac, Glenn Rice in their prime. Steve Francis is Katino Mobley from his rookie year. Jay Williams, the second overall pick. Jalen Green, Alperin Sangoon from the current Rockets. But to my surprise, despite sleeping on Yao's Rockets, he was right in this game, leading his squad to a lead late in the fourth. All this star power that Blake has, he's going to have to step it up. Oh, but Steve Francis with a steal. What? What? Off the inbounds, though. Okay, now Blake is on the floor for the Clippers, who are down one. Houston subbed out T-Mac. Why would they do that? Katino Mobley's not that good. I'm forever haunted by coaching decisions while watching these Sims. I, I can't lie. Okay, Steve Francis. Can he make something happen? Sure. Contested mid -ra Of course he would miss that, Brad. Yao's coach and teammates are absolutely selling the bread. KD, that probably could have been an and one. After timeout, still no T-Mac out there for the Rockets. I think that's just a horrible move. Glenn Rice off the screen. That's tough. Okay, Yao inside. Oh, wow. That just opened up a wide open three. Shen Goon from Yao. Fair enough. I straight up thought that was a disaster class in the clutch by Houston and it was defensively okay oh my gosh ot was all rockets though it's a five point lead the clippers are officially in need of miracle territory chris paul he's got the first step towards that ad that's a clean look 
KD, yeah, of course it is. Okay, we're going to play the foul and see what happens game. The Clippers can tie this game up. They're going to Blake and Blake bricks it. I don't know about that one, dog. I like going to your guy, Blake, but you have so many better shooters. We still wouldn't see LeBron as Victor was up next from the wheel sent right. I'm calling that into Cade Cunningham territory. And I can't lie, Cade might be in some trouble. IT Lanier, Grant Hill as Legends, Bogdanovich, Ivy Duren from the current Pistons, and Jalen Green, the second overall pick. And and that's unfortunately about how I thought this would go. I'm sorry, Pistons fans. A 30-point uh, loss for your guy. What in the... Tony Parker, 34 and 23. I mean, dude, at least Victor showed up for this one. We are down to just nine teams on our wheel. How did this happen? We are flying through, and there he is for the first time. As we'll see in a sec, LeBron does have a squad, but he still might be in tough. Yeah, yeah. Remember right at the beginning of this video when we figured out Allen Iverson as maybe the best team on paper? I mean, y'all remember, right? Embiid, Iverson, Davis, Carmelo, Weber, and they are deep. But for LeBron's prime teammates, I chose Shaq and D. Wade from the current Cavs, Donovan Mitchell, Darius Garland. Garland from his rookie team, Carlos Boozer, Ricky Davis. Unfortunately, Darko Milicic really sinks this team. Well, like not sinks it completely, but like imagine if that was Carmelo or someone, anybody else. Oh my gosh, no need for any manufactured drama here, ladies and gentlemen. It's a three-point game. These clutch situations have been so unpredictable. All video, Donovan, that was a clean look. Iverson made both free throws. This is trouble. Like LeBron, you are 99 overall. You got to do something quickly. Shaq, yo, no way. That's mellow in the corner. Oh, uh, that's a reckless double team. Let's see if it works. Jerry Stackhouse pulling and connecting with the dagger. Yo. Oh my gosh, bro. Iverson Sixers shot 64% from three. Yeah, you're not beating that. D-Wade and Shaq were both amazing. LeBron did have 17 assists, but it wasn't enough. And just horrible news for the rest of our board as LeBron joins AI and Bede AD. That is the best roster we'll see. With just eight teams remaining on our wheel, we'd land on Victor once again, sending him left into Markel Fultz territory. Can Markel Fultz and his two Ben Simmons take down Victor, Tim, and the boys? Well, they're in a great position to if they can hold on in the clutch. The young people team versus the Ben Simmons team. Uh, as we know, it is Markel Fultz team. He gets it into Simmons, who misses a running hook. Brian, in this game, nobody wants to score in the clutch. Cade going coast to coast. That's a tough finish if he makes it, and he does not. Okay. Ben Simmons made a pair of free throws. It's go time for the Spurs. I feel like he would be a cheat code in this situation. Kawhi going to work from the mid-range. Like, y'all got to score pretty quickly here. Tim Duncan, that's easy. Ben Simmons finally bricked a free throw on one end, but Kawhi Leonard failed to convert over Harden on the other. This game was over. Tim Duncan with a monster triple-double, but Victor, man, he wasn't out there in the clutch. He's not ready for prime time yet. After Markel Fultz took over all that real estate in the top right, we'd get spun a chance to finish off the bottom left Yao Ming, Allen Iverson. It's the only matchup we can get. Should Yao Ming and Blake Griffin, the only player he stole, beat Allen Iverson, LeBron AD. This would be the biggest upset of the video by far. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. There's a lot of time to come back. That's a 30 point lead for Yao. What? Brother, who broke the 76? I can't even make this dramatic. What? Brother, the Houston Rockets made 25 threes on 66%. I would bet both of those are records. Like, honestly. And there we go. Yao Ming takes over the entire bottom left. The biggest upset of this video completed and uh, it was a massive blowout. We had just two more regions to figure out before our final four. Up first, Dwight Howard versus Kyrie Irving for the top left. Had Kyrie accumulated a few upgrades during this video, I would say he's got a great chance here because KD LeBron, he's played within their primes. Donovan Mitchell, Darius Garland from the current Cavs, Jameson Tristan Thompson from his rookie season, and Derek Williams, the second overall pick. But I mean, bruh, I know it's been a minute. That's uh, Dwight Howard's team with LeBron, Kobe, Tim. D this would be the new biggest upset of the video. Yep, I'm saying. Uh, right, and and, and I, I did did not reverse jinx this one, it would appear. You know, some people get mad at me with how these videos play out because it is unfair to Kyrie that he's got no upgrades and Dwight's team is amazing, but uh, a huge part of this video, like 50% of it, is the chaos. This is just the way it goes, unfortunately. Kobe, Tim Duncan, LeBron. Look at this stat line. Yeah, when you score 165 points, you're gonna put up some numbers, I guess. Dwight goes ahead and drops another Infinity Stone into his gauntlet. He also takes over the top left region, giving us three quarters of our final four. Just one matchup remaining. Can 
Markel Fultz become our first non-big man to claim their region? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say Markel Fultz is the favorite. Mo Taylor, Rodney Rogers from his rookie team. Mike Bibby was picked behind Ola Wakandi. Kawhi Paul George from the current Clippers. And the final instance of Kevin Garnett along with Prime Paul Pierce. Can KG carry Michael in an absolute unmitigated another shock in this video? The answer to my question was yes. Kevin Garnett could backpack a lesser roster. Dog, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. I've stopped trying to pretend like I know what's going to happen. Well, I always make predictions, but truthfully, 2K just has a mind of their own. Yeah. Yeah. Michael Ola Wakandi, his debut in this video. <laughs> What am I seeing? It always comes down to the threes, man. Ola Candy's Clippers made 14 on 54%. Like, that's just so tough to beat. And as the first overall pick, he did play 30 minutes. He did um, literally nothing, but it didn't matter. Paul George had 35 kg, a monster triple-double. The fact that I don't have a stat muse photo for Michael Ola Candy, I have to use this blurry old image totally ruining the aesthetic of our board. I mean, that's how you know it was a massive upset. And yes, I am high-key rattled by it. I mean, it looks bad. But with four big men left, let's get our final four out of the way. Who is going to have to play a game? Yao Ming. Does Yao go to the right or does he go up? Michael Olawa Candy gets a bye. I just realized that. Up from Yao Ming is yes into Dwight Howard territory, meaning Michael Olawa Candy's dumb, grainy photo. It's going to stay there at least one more game. Dwight Howard easily has the most deep, most loaded, most star studded acquisition roster out here. I mean, he shouldn't lose, but again, who knows? Yao already massively upset uh, Allen Iverson team. That's why he's there. His roster, not as good, but again, it doesn't really matter on paper. And I would once again learn that lesson the hard way as Dwight and the Magic were putting up a fight early on, but Yao's Rockets, they've just got the it factor, bro. They pulled away late. That's two in a row, bro. That's two in a row where Yao was clearly out-talented on paper. Maybe he's just the best leader of all our first overall picks. I have no clue. I'm not even shocked. Like, this is our reality now. And shout out to Yao for leading the way. 31 one and seven. Just three first overall picks remain. Somebody will get a buy through to the final matchup without having to risk losing, but it's not Michael Olawakandi. Thank goodness, man. I'm tired of seeing his dumb face on my freaking scoreboard. He's going up. Uh, the closest thing I can get to that compass result is uh, way up there into Yao Ming territory. Let's go, Yao. Take care of business. I mean, no. Yeah, I'm being totally unbiased. I'd love to see Michael Olawakandi win this game. Yeah, sure. This game is currently not a blowout in the third quarter. In fact, Michael Ola Candy is winning. I just thought I'd provide that update. I'm doing fine over here. Okay, as they should, Yao's Rockets did take over this game, but they're only up five. I mean, this game should be over way too close for comfort, but uh, yeah, no way the Clippers have enough magic to fit KG going to the line. Okay. All right, the Rockets do not have Yao Ming on the court and have come up empty on a couple possessions, and that's a wide open look for Paul George. I'm not worried at all here. Um, yeah, Houston, it's all good. Don't even bother taking a timeout, even though you probably should have to stop momentum. AI? Yeah, okay. Okay, all right. Michael Olawakandi's Clippers. Yep, they're doing this. And not only are they doing it, I mean, KG is backpacking, but Olawakandi is on the floor. He's standing right there doing nothing. Maybe he's the veteran leader that these first overall picks did. Oh my God. <laughs> what? I, 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 wow, I'm speechless. Yao is now on the floor yeah. for the run. <laughs> No way. Allen Iverson just threw one of the most reckless lobs I've ever seen. Olawa Candy, a clutch steal. He makes one of two free throws. I've said like 10 times in this video, this would be the most massive, the biggest upset ever. This would be the biggest upset I think I've ever seen. Especially the way Yao's Rockets have been playing. AI's just dribbling the clock out. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way. I've literally seen it all, bro. Olawa Candy's Clippers shot worse from the field, worse from three. They just lived at the free throw line. After all we've been through in this video, every elite Hall of Fame caliber first overall pick, Michael Olawa Candy's grainy photo is going up against Andrew Bogut in the finals. I, I, I am shook. The aesthetic of my video is completely ruined, but whatever, I guess. Dirk, Curry, Giannis. Remember how good Andrew Bogut's team was? He wrapped up his region so long ago and yeah, they're great. But of course, why would we doubt Michael Olawa Candy's team? They've now added Yao Ming. I mean, Michael's still a 77. I will force him to play minutes in this game. Who knows, dude? Anything can happen. I'm not even gonna say who I think will win this matchup, even though it's like, I mean, come on, come on. Okay, second quarter. This is happening. All right. I mean, no need to overreact. It's only the third quarter. Michael Olawa Candy's up seven. And it's now the fourth quarter. Michael Olawa Candy's Clippers are still leading by double fit. Okay. All right, Bogut, any second now. 
any it's not it's not it's not happening this cannot be happening if anybody ever wanted proof that i don't you know like re-simulate game or try and rig my videos in any way this is right here right here you're watching you're watching the proof right here his clipper shot 17 percent from three how did a whole team of free throw merchants kg with a triple double olua candy literally scored zero points i i, I don't know I don't even okay just bring it in here for a second before we end this video uh in case you all didn't know already i spend way too much time designing pre-planning my videos out trying to make them look good which is why i'm in absolute shambles right now because there you go michael oldwa candy is the last first overall pick standing i mean that makes complete sense and i just love using a blurry photo in the final image of this video i mean that's just great hey if you guys enjoyed this video and want to check out another in which i don't have a complete emotional breakdown check out a tournament of NBA champions. That one was a lot of fun and yeah, I didn't lose my mind.